The truth is, I'm going to the next movement. The truth is, beloved, I can't stay away from church and call myself a follower of him who, wherever he was, he went to church. I got some folks that, that hit it and miss it. Amen. Yeah. I don't understand because you got a week of work. Yeah. You got to deal with some unruly folk. Yeah. You got to deal with a tough week of work and service. Yeah. Ain't no telling them what may happen to you in the week. When you come to church on Sunday, yeah. it gives you a charge. Yeah. It fills you up and gets you ready for whatever. And, 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 and since if Jesus went to, is anybody here better than Jesus? Jesus went to church. Is anybody here busier than Jesus? Is anybody here more important than Jesus? Is anybody here more sought after than Jesus? So we find him in Capernaum in the Lord's house on the Lord's day. That gives us, brings us to the next movement. Well, guess who else goes to church? Uh -huh. <laughs> the text teaches us secondly uh -huh. that the devil comes to church. Don't believe the lie. Yes, sir. You may think the church is for members only. Uh -huh. There are plenty of times that Satan yes. is in the sanctuary. Yes, yes, but here's the thing. He doesn't have he doesn't have any other way of getting in church except we bring him. I promise you I ain't making it up. Verse 23 says he came with somebody. He didn't just happen in him, but the Bible says he came with a man. See what happens, he comes in with us. But when he gets in, he breaks out all over the congregation. How many know if you, if you let the devil ride, he don't want to drive. If you let the enemy get a foothold, he will wreak havoc in the whole house. Have a got a witness? Because you know the Church is the primary recruiting station for the enemy. He doesn't have to go. He doesn't have to go in the clubs and in the world to recruit those he already has. So he comes to church and he gets real busy. In the you know, and, and, and the, the time of the text, Jesus is teaching. Jesus is. Jesus is teaching. You know, yeah. he had an impeccable teaching right. right. Jesus was giving people something to hold on to. Yeah. Jesus was giving something that they could use in their life. He yeah. was giving them something that would make a difference in their life. <laughs> Jesus was come, giving them something to help them deal with the issues of their life. He was teaching. Yeah. Now, according to verse 22, they were so taken by his teaching. They were so taken by his clarity. They were so taken by the simplicity of his teaching that the text says they were amazed, they were astonished, they had a wild moment. They were saying nobody ever talked with as much creativity, as much authority as Jesus. Jesus, you are teaching, you are you are saying the word because all they heard was the scribes and the and the rabbis and things of that sort, and they didn't they didn't turn them on. Help me, somebody! They didn't scratch, swear, and itch. But when Jesus came, he had so much creativity, he had so much authority that they they had a wild moment. They said they were amazed, they were astonished. And and and, and then the text says, then an evil spirit. Came in with a man. Or a man came in with an evil spirit. Or an evil spirit came in with a man. Whatever. He got in there. And he didn't come by himself. He wasn't a member. He came in with somebody else. Came in with a man. I dare you ask your neighbor, who you bring in the church with? You? Who's coming to church with? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Hallelujah. We pray, we pray. He, he, he can't get here on his own. We bring him in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who or what are you praying? Uh-huh. <laughs> we got no, we got no metal detector. Help me, somebody. We ain't got no way of keeping the devil out. But he gets in here, doesn't he? Not here, I'm talking about in Florida. I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost as bad, but I got some good news for you. He gets in here, doesn't he? But I got some good news for you. That even though the devil comes to church, he's no match for Jesus. I wish I had Because you know, two kinds of spirit came to church that day. Two kinds of spirit showed up in church that day. An evil spirit, can the church say an evil spirit? And an anointed spirit. Help me somebody. This is the church in the miniature. Help me somebody. Because on any given Sunday, these two spirits show up at church. At Zion Hope and and at Riverside. On any given Sunday, you can expect two spirits to show up at church. And these two spirits can't stand each other. They can't dwell together in the same house, in the same room, and they end up warring against one another. Sometimes when I'm at church, I feel them. I, don't you, sometimes you feel something. You got to, you got to do a little extra prayer. You got to do a little extra worshiping. Because those two spirits are warring against each other. Hallelujah. They, they, they fight. They, they, they can't stand each other. They can't dwell together in the same room. So they war. And sometimes it disrupts the service. Sometimes you got to get, you can't never set an atmosphere where the devil can be comfortable. You got to make an atmosphere where you always be uncomfortable. One can put a thousand. Who can put back 10,000 devils to flight? You got to always have them uncomfortable, unwelcome, unworthy, unwanted. Hallelujah. They can't do they can't well together. The evil spirits. And don't pinpoint them. You can't touch it. They point them out. Spirits. Yeah. That's right. When we bring the church, yes, can't bring in any, any and every spirit. That spirit that was on your job, yeah. you can't bring it to church. Yeah. Have a witness. That spirit in the world, you can't bring it yeah. because those spirits walk yeah. against each other. Yeah. Let me tell you, I don't care how many evil spirits come to church. Yeah. It will never overpower the Spirit of God in the house. Come on, when the Lord's Spirit is in the house and you get in the Spirit, the Bible says you can resist the devil and he will flee from you. I dare you to pray. I dare you to pray. I dare you to set an atmosphere of freedom in the house. Satan will start having allergic reactions. He'll start itching. Have I got a witness? I'm there to saints to praise God. I'm there to saints to just set an atmosphere of healing, an atmosphere of deliverance in the house. The devil will start having allergic reactions and tired of things. Message. 
he, he's going to match for the Holy Ghost. Yes, Come about a witness. You know how I know? Because Jesus in this text. How about a witness? Immediately had to put the devil in his place. In verse 24 and 25. And he said, be quiet. Now, 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 NIV is nice. But let me give you the urban translation. Shut up. Shut up in here. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Satan comes to church. Yeah. We don't care for that too much. Yeah. But we got him under control. Yeah. But the final move, when I'm out of here, yes, sir. It, it, it's, it's Jesus comes to church, the devil comes to church, but the real test of life mm. is what happens after church. Yeah. Yeah. After, yes, sir. You, know, you know, if you've ever been to our church, uh, some, some, of, some of the beloved members of the Hope and there is there is the propensity, there's the tendency mm. after church All right. All right. for us to linger around after church yeah. in deep fellowship and conversation like they haven't seen each other since the last time they remember. I know y'all won't do that here. And this is just like the our church. Whenever we go to anybody's church, yeah, yeah. they have to, I said, y'all got to flip the lights or something. Because <laughs> ain't nothing for them to hang around an hour after church just talking. Ain't got the job. They sitting around talking after church is out. I would let them out. <laughs> But if I get up in the pulpit and say, turn with me, they have to get up and get up. <laughs> but not Jesus. Not Jesus. Can the church say not Jesus? Not Jesus doesn't hang around the church. At least he didn't in this text. At least he didn't, didn't on this day. In fact, he shows us that we got to get up, yeah. get out of here, and go home for Sunday dinner. Yeah. Have a got a witness. Don't look at me like you don't know about Sunday dinner. Can I just tell you in our house, when I was growing up, we had roast on Sundays. Two meats were major at Sunday dinner. I mean, the roast was tender and fried chicken on Sunday. Green beans, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, just to name a few. In fact, Jesus shows them that, that we got to get up and get out of here and go home for Sunday dinner. How about with me? I heard the MC tell y'all, as soon as this missile uh -huh. make your way, make the transition, yeah. Jesus did not linger yeah. because the real test is not what happens at church. Uh -huh. Jesus goes to church, the devil goes to church, a lot happens at church, but the real test is not what happens at church. It's not who's at church. But it's what happens after the benediction. Have a God with me. Can you help me close? Jesus, his disciples. You, you read it for yourself. Including James and John. 
left church, went straight to Peter and Andrew's house. They took Jesus with them. Most of us don't mind being with Jesus at church. Have I got a witness? We don't mind feeling his spirit in the Lord's house. We don't mind sharing at the sacred precinct of the temple. But most of the time after the benediction, we want to tell Jesus, okay, Lord, I'll catch you next Sunday. I'll holler at you next Sunday. But it's a different thing when you take him home with you. Have a guy with it. When you bring him home, that's when you bring him at home with all of your flaws. Because at a home, that's all your flaws. All your failures. All your fakes. All your faults. All your fallacies. When you let it all hang out. When you go home, your shoes off. Have a got a witness. Take your clothes off. You are who you are at home. Have a got a witness. We bring Jesus into our private places. In the inner sanctum of our home. That hidden from the probing public. Have a got a witness. That's when you move the magazines around. That's when you move the wine out of the refrigerator and the beer out of the way. You move the things that they don't want them to see when you take Jesus home. Have I got a witness? But I need to tell you as I go to my seat that blessings come when Jesus go 